Hey guys, it's Tom and Kelly, Fit, Fit Station. Today we're going to work on some biceps. So we're going to show you more building uh, for the guys, strength for the guys, and more toning. Of course, you're going to get some strength as well for the women. Um, but what difference do you think is going to occur with regards to the biceps for women versus the guys? Ladies, what's going to happen with the biceps is that everybody talks about having nice to the arms. So that's actually going to give you that nice shape to the arm. Whenever you build the muscle, that actually tightens the skin versus having fat, which actually is loose and soft. Yeah, actually tight skin is a good thing. Right. Yeah. Right. Cool. So that'll, that'll give us a nice to the arm and also gives you that little bit of division between the shoulder and the bicep. Hey, show them what you got there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So remember, Kelly used to be a fitness competitor and a bikini competitor. So she's going to give some really good advice for the women. And um, for the bodybuilding and for the guys who just want to be look more like perhaps the bodybuilders are more uh, toned and a little bit bigger and have some strength or certain things, we're going to address that as well with me. So let's get right into it. Our first exercise is going to be a easy curl barbell curl. Okay? And a barbell curl can be done in many different fashions with a straight bar, with an easy curl bar. Um, it can be done with cables, and a cable bar it can be done with dumbbells, frankly. So we're going to show you a couple different variations, but we're going to use the easy curl bar because it puts less strain on the wrist. Okay? Do you feel there's anything else that the easy curl bar might add to the exercise? Well, the reason I like easy curl bar is, like you're saying, for the wrist. Um, also, it's kind of designed so you can get that good grip whichever way that is more um, natural for the wrist. Mm -hmm. um, so there's different placements on the bar. There's an inside and an outside grip. Which do you prefer? The outside grip is my bicep curls, or regular bicep curls. So Why? Like a little wider. Um, because it angles my wrist in to me that's a little more natural than just trying to hold my wrist straight. So it angles them in a little bit. It's going to give me a little bit more strength through my bicep. Also work on my forearms just a little bit there. Um, it's not as harsh on my wrist, so I'm able to keep my wrist straight. But I do have a little bit of problem with my wrist, so this one is not over. I get a little bit more, um, I can add a little bit more weight to the more curl versus this end and use a straight bar. Okay. Well, why don't you demonstrate it and we jump on it. All right. All right. So here we are. This is the easy curl bar, and I am using that wide grip with my wrist angled in. I am 
just tensing it on the way up. So let me show you kind of what it looks like from the side as well. So that's the bicep exercise with the easy curl. Now we're going to show you another version. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you another exercise for the biceps, just a variation of what we did. These are dumbbell curls and we're going to do them singly, so in other words we're alternating. Curling up and bringing it all the way back down before you get the other one up. So what I don't like to see are these things here. And also let it come down before you start to lift with the other one. Nothing in your torso should be moving. The only thing that should be exercising right now are the biceps. So I do take them back to straight. As I bring it up, I'll kind of curl the head of that dumbbell into my shoulder. Again, I would go for about 12 reps here. And I am guarding my back. In other words, I'm not swinging myself backwards from the torso. I'm locking down my abs as I do this, allowing that bicep to contract. Guys, one of the things I want you to notice that she's doing it is see how she's stopping before she hits the shoulder. Okay, when you hold in the shoulder, you're going to lose your tension. The way she's doing it, she's maintaining the tension on the bicep. Okay, it's very, very important. You want to continue keeping tension on that bicep. Okay, I'll show you the same thing. Okay, you'll see it from a man's, uh, little man's perspective. Does the same thing for a man or a woman. Obviously a man has testosterone as his major hormone, so he's gonna build a little bit more strength, a little bit more size. Uh, a woman has uh, different chemical makeup, so she's gonna build a little bit more on the tone. Okay, so don't get scared, girls, with doing the bicep, the bicep curls. Very, very good for toning your biceps. And guys, there's really nothing better than a bicep curl of some form. So again, you're gonna stand, okay? Whether you have your feet in or out is really a matter of comfort. For me, I like it in that I can let the dumbbell sit in this fashion. I'm going to do a one at a time alternating and I bring them up like that. Again, I'm not letting them drop into the shoulder. Just keeping that tension. side. One thing I want you to notice too is I'm what's called supinating the wrist. Can you, Kelly, can you come out and show them yeah. what I mean by supinating the wrist? So I start in this position and notice how I end up when I'm at the top. So that wrist kind of turns just a little bit right. and his wrist goes back to straight here. Also whenever he's doing these exercises you'll see that as he's coming up he's getting a nice stretch to that tricep watch how the shoulder's working along with this. Now the concentration is in the bicep. But we also get the shoulders a little bit of assistance there. Oh, so, again, um, supination is important. Keeping the stress on there, as I showed you when Kelly was doing the exercise, um, those are the important factors in this particular exercise. You don't have to look at how much weight you're using. Look at it as resistance. Of course, everybody wants as much weight as possible. Right, right. It's natural. But the main thing is, too, you need to really look at your form. And as long as you can keep your form, last two to three of your exercise start to cause that burn, then hang 
up there for a little while before you start to go up, and then if you can go up again, you should be able to keep that form throughout the entire exercise. Exactly. Okay, we're going to show you one more variation with cables. Nice thing with cables is the cables keep a uh, constant tension, which is really good. I, I personally prefer the cables. Um, it's also a lot easier if you use drop sets. It's select so you can simply change the weight really easy. Okay? So we'll set up here with the camera and then we'll go ahead and show you how to do this. Alright guys, so now we're going to show you the cable curl. So we are using a straight bar. Already select my position. Again, it's kind of a wide grip. I curl that up towards the top of my chest or collarbone. Let it come back down. So we are fighting the resistance both on the way up and on the way down by from using the cables. Notice how my, I don't let my elbows take over or let them float out to the side. Keeping that constant tension through the arm. Your, your weight according to how you can, if you can keep your form and make it all the way through your exercise. Again, with the last two or three being the most difficult. And like Tom said, this is an excellent exercise to do drop sets with. So, depending upon what kind of intensity level you want to get into, those drop sets can be really cool. I personally use them a lot. Um, at 62 years old, I'm not interested in using 150 pounds anymore for curls. Um, so I like to use a more moderate weight, do my 10 to 15 reps, drop as a, I can't get any more after that, do another 10 to 15 reps and then drop again actually, do another 10 to 15 reps. This is tremendous for keeping the intensity up. A lot of pro bodybuilders use this. Uh, a lot of pro athletes, a lot of uh, sports utilize a similar type of phase training, okay, for their prospective sport. But let me demonstrate how we would do that here. Uh, of course, keeping the same principles that Kelly was talking about and that we showed you in the previous two exercises uh, with regards to keeping good form, keeping a good rate of movement, okay? Um, one thing about this exercise is it does not allow you to supinate. It keeps you supinated, okay? Which is okay, it's just another variation, okay? The supination itself tends to lengthen the bicep. And that's one of the reasons I like that supination movement. It's very, very good for lengthening the bicep. Whenever you lengthen the bicep, you have the ability to make your peak and your head bigger. And of course, you recruit more muscle fiber, which means you can get more strength, and so forth. Um, but I do like, again, the cables because you can do drop sets and it keeps a constant, very constant tension, which is very, very good. So let me get an idea what weight to use. I've not used the machine before. Um, make sure that you're far enough away from the cable machine that's not touching there and prohibiting your movement. Okay, this particular machine actually works quite well. The one at the gym that I use, I have to stand back a little further. So the movement will be something like this. Again, tensing at the top. Not pulling it into my shoulder. Something else I like to point out about what Tom's doing is notice how he's letting that elongate. He's not keeping his bicep short, only doing half the half the contraction or leaving it at 90 degrees and then pumping it in. He's letting it elongate and then causing that contraction again. Okay, so at that point, I would immediately go to a little bit lower weight. Repeat the same process. It's called a drop set. Extremely effective at getting the intensity level up, which means more strength, more 
more size, more blood flow to the muscle. without increasing the weight so much that you can have uh, problems with your joints, you can uh, have accidents, those type of things. I also typically use it with lagging body parts. So body parts, I wasn't getting much of a response out of, I would use a lot of those. Cool, yeah. cool. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set up for our next exercise and show you what we got. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna take you through another exercise in addition to what we've already done. These are called hammer curls, and they are going to actually work on the outer side of the bicep, give you a little bit more elongation, and also work here on the brachialis. But you'll see that whenever I start to work out, now it's going to start to pop up a little bit. So you do choose your weight, and you're, and you're actually what I call have the heads of the dumbbells sitting out on hammer curls as if you had a hammer. You're going to bring it up to your shoulder, or towards your shoulder, control it on the way down. Still going for about that 12 to 15 rep range. Notice how I stay in control of this. This exercise, sometimes I have people with shoulder pains, wrist pains, this exercise seems to be a little bit more friendly because I have those kind of difficulties. And then I'm going to step up so you can kind of see that motion from the side. Just bring it up, control it on the way down. So guys, notice once again, that you're stopping it far enough so that it doesn't fall into the shoulder. Okay, so you have part of the dumbbell length there to help with that, which is good. Um, but you'll see how it's working on the length there. You see how when she brings it up, just hold it at the top there for a moment. You see the length here, okay? It's not balled up like a barbell curl, it's lengthened. Okay, and that's what we're looking to do. Lengthen here and build this brachialis tie-in to the outer bicep. Exactly. Lower it down. Like yeah, exactly. Okay. So, so for a woman, why do you feel that's important? Well, again, because it gives you that nice tone. So if you notice, I don't really have a lot of anything hanging on my arms. A lot of women really kind of worry about that. And I think that's important because I have built the muscles underneath that skin. Yeah, okay. so, so this gives it a good tone. Right. And you mentioned earlier about tightening the skin. Right. This would help that, right? Absolutely, yeah. And I'll say when you kind of get this here a little bit built up, it, it stops that gappiness going on through here around the elbows. Okay, cool. Yeah. So right. you don't have to be scared of getting right. massive biceps or anything like that, right? Not gonna happen. Right. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, guys, let me show you the guy version. Again, same type of movement, same type of range of motion, uh, a little bit more weight, and you're going to wind up building a little bit more, okay? So this type of exercise here is going to be very good for lengthening the bicep. Now keep in mind, muscle growth is all about addressing the total muscle. So if you address the entire length of the muscle, the entire width of the muscle, you're going to activate more muscle fiber, which means more size, more strength, more everything, okay? So you can see how the muscle moves there, okay? The bicep curl essentially is working this. This exercise essentially is going to work more this, okay? 
So it gives you that full length, which when you get a peak, for example, it's gonna give you more of a peak, okay? But this is also gonna give you more strength. Girls, it's gonna give you a nicer looking arm, uh, like Kelly has, she's got an arm that doesn't just kind of stop and sag and all those kinds of things. So this is why this exercise is important. This is an addition to, so this would be your second exercise in a series of bicep workout. The, one of the versions of the first bicep curl, then this exercise. I like to do them alternating, just, it's just my style. It feels more comfortable for me. You can do them either way. Whatever is more comfortable is simply preference. Again, I'm making sure that I don't fall into the shoulder. I try to keep as much tension as I can on the bicep as I can. Let me show you from the side so you can see what that looks like. So a good exercise for overall development of the bicep, um, getting that length so that we can activate more fibers, okay? As we activate more fibers. More strength and more growth, yeah. Exactly. And for women, more tone. Right. Okay? Yeah. Um, stand to the side here. You see how she's got a nice looking arm. A lot of girls just, you know, let's be honest, they just don't have that. And this exercise is going to accomplish a few girls. And I keep reiterating that because I don't want you to be afraid of doing biceps. You should be just the opposite. You should want to do them because it's going to give you a nicer looking arm. That's right. And then and this is where you, you are fighting gravity. You fight the gravity by keeping those muscles nice and taut. So then you don't have the, so much of the sagging skin. And that becomes very important for women as we age as our estrogen starts to reduce, certainly our skin tone starts to change a little bit. This is one of the primary ways to fight it, is to actually build the muscle. Yeah, cool. All right, guys, so that was the hammer curl with dumbbells. We're gonna show you a variation now where we utilize the cable. Uh, remember, the cable we thought was very, very good for keeping constant tension, and you'll see this. We're gonna go ahead and get Kelly set up on it, and we'll video it. I'm going to show you how to do the hammer curl with the cable. You do want the rope attachment and we're using that same grip. So I call it thumbs up. So thumbs up, you're holding it like this, thumbs up like you're going like, to get a good grip on it. And again, you're just pulling it in towards the top, let those arms straighten out. And then curl it back. So you, again, you want to make sure you're a little bit away from the cable so that um, it doesn't hinder you on the way down. And you want to concentrate on those biceps, both on the way up and on the way down. Of course, you're not going to let it drop. You see how that just drop? Control it. Bite that cable the whole time. Maybe I don't have any swaying going on in my body. It's getting tough right now, and I'm still putting that resistance into my arms. All right, so I'm going to give you about three more, and that should be it for me. Tired. <laughs> All right, so again, girls, notice that we have a nice toned arm here. Um, you'll notice that she's doing it, a little bit of cut here in her uh, delts, and then also with her triceps here. It's just a nice toned arm. Now, Kelly, if you would just go ahead and drop the weight, let it, let it fall, and bring, and so you'll notice, again, just a nice toned arm. Now, you don't see the delt and the trap or the, uh, the triceps coming out like they were when she was exercising, but that's what was required in order to get a nice looking arm. So girls, please, by all means, don't be afraid of these exercises. These are very, very complimentary for your physique. Right, yep, they look good in the sundresses. There you go. Okay, I'll demonstrate the same thing. Uh, guys, again, keep in mind, and girls, this is a good principle for girls too, the drop sets, the drop sets, very, very, very effective, okay? Um, 
you'll find yourself having to kind of lean back slightly just because you're going against the machine here. Um, whereas the other exercises, you're gonna stand straight up erect. Here you gotta kind of lean back a little bit because you're fighting the weight, even in a position of relaxation here. Okay, but it's just it's just very minor. You'll, you'll feel it, whatever's natural for you, just do it. So again, the down motion's a little slower. Tensing on the way up. Pull them out actually slightly as well. That way. Again, you're not seeing the peak of anything, you're just seeing a long or lengthening of the bicep. drop sets and add more intensity to that which I do use all the time in the gym for my own workout so I do recommend it okay now we're gonna go ahead and uh, set up for the uh, concentration curl we'll show you a variation on the cables and we'll show you a variation of dumbbells and this again is going to get the peak and more length okay all right guys now I'm going to show you a concentrated curl on the cable machine we are going to do single here because of the type of machine I have you can also do these doubles you have a different type of machine in the gym so you do want to set this cable about shoulder level and then you're going to curl it in so I usually do a rep range here between 10 and 12 this is a little more difficult um, one thing I like for people to make sure they're doing on this exercise is not allowing the shoulder to take over so you notice that I'm bringing it in towards my shoulder and I'm not curling it in towards myself, okay? So I'm not letting that shoulder come forward. Put my arms straight out on the shoulder, curl it in. Exactly. One thing you will notice is she is coming into the shoulder on this. That's because there's constant tension in the cable. So even though she's coming up a little higher than she would on the other exercises that we told you not to, the tension of the cable keeps constant. Right. Woo! Hey. It's definitely working well there. Okay, so again, you're fighting the machine a little bit. I'm not really sure what to use here. I'm not use this machine, but so you're fighting the machine a little bit, so you kind of got to stand this way a little bit, okay? Um, but the same thing, okay? So one thing I do try to do is I do try to keep uh, Kelly mentioned not coming in this way, but I over-exaggerate, if you will, to keep up this way, okay? Because again, that helps with the peak, okay? It helps with the lengthening the bicep. So, it should look something like this. Okay, and you do want to tense that bicep. Almost like you're making a muscle. Okay, let me show you from the back side. Tension, which is great. You don't need a whole lot of weight. Make this 
exercise work for you. Okay. So again, keep that tension. Actually make a muscle as you do the exercise. This goes for guys and girls. Kelly, um, when you are training for competition, or even when you're not training for competition, um, do you like to keep the tension on your arm, and kind of flex, or semi-flex? Right. Yes. You find that works for you? Right. So, just like you were saying, like you're, like you're showing somebody your muscles, basically what you're doing, keeping that tension the whole time. And again, not letting the shoulder drop, drop out. So you keep that shoulder stable. That's very important. So that works for girls and for guys. Okay, so that's good for both. Right, absolutely. Cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set up for the dumbbell version of this, okay, and show you the dumbbell version of the third exercise in a good bicep routine. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a concentrated curl. And this exercise also is gonna help you with the peeking out of the bicep. Um, so I do want you to get set up for this. Um, is very important on this exercise as well as that mind-muscle connection really thinking about using your bicep. So you do want to take your feet wide. You're going to actually put your arm just to the inside of the knee here. So just above the elbow right here. You're going to press that arm into that leg keeping the shoulders nice and square. You do want to keep your form in this exercise so you can get the good concentration out of that bicep. And then you're going to Bring that arm to the inside of the legs. Curl it up into the shoulder or towards the shoulder. Notice I am not flexing in my wrist. It's not going back and forth. It's staying completely straight. And I'm not allowing my shoulder to move. Okay, so I'm thinking about, I'm going to make a ball out of this bicep. Now, I have to drop that weight because it's getting too hard. So, and I do this a lot with concentrated curls. I will have a heavier weight, do as many as I can, go to my Next time, just wait and try and finish up. Okay, again, thinking about making that ball out of that bicep. Yeah, keep in mind, guys, concentration curl is called concentration curl for a reason. It's because you have to really concentrate on that area there to keep the tension on it. Uh, it's a difficult exercise to get right, but it's very easy to maneuver because there's no balance and all these different factors involved. There's no back being used, shoulders being used, and all that type of thing. So in that regard, it's very simple, which is one of the reasons why we're showing you, but it's imperative, absolutely imperative, that you get that mind-muscle connection and concentrate on that area. Now again, you can see how Kelly's doing it here. She's keeping her wrist straight, she's keeping it to the inside, she's not throwing the weight around, she's concentrating on it, and it's one of those exercises that the drop sets work extremely well with, because you can't use a lot of weight if you're going to keep that tension on and keep concentration. All right, I think that's much better. And works it equally as well for guys and girls, would you say? Right, I would say so, yes, absolutely. And the thing again is to kind of keep that brace, because that brace kind of helps you stay in that form and helps you keep that concentration right into that bicep. Okay, and again, you know, guys, it's going to help you with the head development, give you more of a peak. Um, girls, you're going to have a nice toned arm, like right. Kelly has here, okay? Um, but it all helps with regards to the overall look and the overall size and strength of the arm. And, and again, ladies, the tightening of the skin, building the muscle underneath the skin is what's going to give you that nice toned effect. Okay, great. Okay, so if you have any questions, go ahead and email us, okay? If you have a need for coaching, let us know that as well. We're here for you. We'll go ahead and drop the uh, emails into the video there so you can go ahead and see it. And please, by all means, visit our other videos too that we have. Yeah. And keep in mind, folks, that we can help you with a lot of things. Whether you're getting competition ready, ready for a sport, or if you just want to have a nice toned body, we can also help you with nutrition. Um, both um, Tom and I have experience with helping people that have previous injuries and kind of making exercise programs around those injuries and still getting results. A lot of, a lot of nutrition background with extremely high level professional athletes, so we can help you with that. We can help you if you're having hormone issues. Um, we can help you with a whole lot of things, so just contact us. Uh, again, we'll drop the email in the video so that you can contact us and 
us any questions you wish. We're happy to help. Right. And be sure to like and subscribe so we can send you more videos. There you go. That helps us out a lot. We do appreciate it. Okay, guys. Thanks. See you, See you next time.